Now that we've defeated that dragon, eh? We can carry on with what else we were doing. So let's do that. For whatever reason, this game is acting up again and it's really starting to bother me. Okay, we are going to get back to... Alright, this is all cleared out. This is this. Friends in low places. Just from all the harvelous tasks. Remains. So let's do some dropping off the bone pit. Yeah, you know what? Let's go here. Let's go here and give them the update on the bone pit. Wherein, therein, we can go to the other thing. I was so pissed off. Somebody is already putting up playthrough of the third episode of The Wolf Among Us. And I'm so pissed. And I was like, well, why are they able to do that? And it's because the PC version is already out. Motherfucker. I have to wait till tomorrow to put mine up. So tomorrow's going to be a pretty full schedule. Don't you worry. Tomorrow I'm going to have these two. I'm also going to have the Wolf Among Us. One of the miners told me you rescued him from dragons. The Wolf Among Us I, I will put on alive. before I put well, this on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going so. to play through this. Well, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play through the I Wolf Among Us you. first. And you then I'm going to present it to all of you later on. See? I've got it all figured mine. out. A dragon killer and a mind reader. Wonderful. Let us discuss your payment. We now, here have solved the bone so pit problem. Now we'll become partners about, with this hue belt. Unfortunately, it doesn't grant us a discount on any of his wares. It doesn't matter because I am going to... Why would you share half your business with me? I spent a decade going to sell shit. I want to see how much gold I have. I have to have at least like 56 pieces if I want to actually be a part of this expedition. But then again, if you deal with Dougal. So, what do you say? Seems like the miners could use protection. He's going to pay your way anyway. So, to our first order. Well, not pay your way, but you know. We replace the lost I don't even think he gives you any money. But he does give you a bunch of experience points considering that after you are done dealing with him, you have to fight him in his courtry. you to convince the surviving miners to return. They are holed up in Low Town. Tell them the bone pit is safe again. I'll see what I can do. Are you safe? Alright, let's do what I was going to do before. Let me sell some shit. I don't want this or this or this. I'll keep that, but I'm going to get rid of those. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, yeah, I do have one. Okay. I really... Well, it's too late now, so I'm going to have to sell those. Uh, keeping all that. You know the rules. Yeah, look at all that crap. Shling. But it doesn't really grant you anything now, does it? Okay. Okay. With that taken care of, I can do this. Oh, wait. Not yet. Not going there yet. I got a few little shit missions I got to take care of. That will be my new home. I will plant myself right here. Oh wait, I gotta go back over here. Now I've been looking up all these games. I want—I was trying to find a game that would be coming out sometime in the near future when I can get a PS4, but it doesn't seem as though anything really good, other than Watch Dogs, which I'm not really interested in getting. But what I did notice is that the next Mario Kart game is coming out the end of May, which means I'm going to have two games to review. Well, not actually in May, because I won't be able to review that till June, but there's an empty space in July, there's an empty space in August, there's going to be like, but then there, a really big issue pops up in October, which I'm not looking forward to at all, and that is 
October 7th, Shadow of Mordor comes out, and I'm thinking of getting that on the PS4. Then, October 14th, Arkham Knight comes out. And the reason why this is a dilemma is Shadow of Mordor will probably take me at least five, six days to play through. Forget about to... You know, to actually, like... Hear it. That's for you. Wow. Get away from you. She really wanted that shit, did she? Oh, you know what? I got rid of all the gangs, so I have to go to the hanged man. But it it's going to take at least five, six days to play through it. Which case, if that is the case, then I'm going to have to review it like the day that the, the Arkham game... Now, if the Arkham game came out first, it wouldn't matter to me because I can probably get through that in two days. But, as I stick my finger in my ear again, but if I have to play through a game like Shadow of Mordor, which is an RPG game, I think it is anyway, it's supposed to be, especially with that nemesis system where I'm plotting out different ways to get more experience points or whatever, if that comes out first, to be able to review it, I mean, I'm going to probably have to put like fucking nine hours into this game a day, it's going to be a killer. So I don't know. I don't know. What I really I was not expecting that to happen. When I saw that, I was like, oh, What's shit. And for so, somehow I was told that I pre-ordered Bayonetta 2, but I don't see it on my pre-order list, which kind of bothers me. That's Martin. So let me check that out anyway. There's a, there's a woman here that you give... Let me see. Yeah, he doesn't have anything special. There's a woman here that you go to and she gives you gold for what you for all your good deeds that you have done. So any any hoot, like I'm saying, it's it's actually that kinda worries me because those that's an ample game. And I mean, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to play through all that shit in that short span of time. But uh we'll see. Now I'm telling you, there's a woman here that you go to, and she, you, after you've taken care of all the gangs, and she gives you gold and experience points. Where the fuck is she? I know you're here, you bitch. Okay. Maybe I dreamed it. Ah, but I forgot about that. See? You never know. Well, anyway... Uh, remains of beard. Da, 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 da. Yeah, let's go here. Let's go to the Herbalist task. Because apparently there's another mission there that I wasn't paying attention to. Now I'm going to clear, I'm clearing this out and then we're going to go to the deep roads. Once every, once everything is cleared out, we're going to the deep roads. Uh, you're going to have to bring Varric, which is okay. And then I'm going to have to bring Fenris, which is not bad either. And then I'm going to have to bring a mage. And I think the mage I'm going to bring, I have a choice between Anders and Meryl. And I think I'm going to bring... Andrews? Should I bring Andrews or Meryl? I don't think I've used Meryl in a while. Meryl, I can build up her anthropy. Actually, no, I can't because I'm building up the other stuff. And the stuff that contradicts the other stuff. You are known. What? I gotta talk to the guys to get them back to work. See all these little things? Yeah, I want that. That's the reason why I got that is because once you do have a shitload of gold that you can piss away, restoration potion is friggin' ridiculous. So, and a potion in my position cannot afford to be made to look ridiculous. Yeah, but get back to work. That's one. And this is what Deep Rose Expedition. Not there yet. Not there yet. One, two, three. Yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be... And uh, there are a few other ones that are coming out like in December that I was interested in, but I'm still trying to figure out what the... Because I don't want to wait till November to get the PS4. Or October, I'm sorry, to get the PS4. Although I would pro the price would probably drop. I kind of want to get it now, but 
But I'm thinking about like what game I would review and then what game I would ultimately play through. And basically what I'm going to be doing is like kind of like a barter system with GameStop where I'm just going to keep buying games and selling them, buying and selling, buying and selling. You know, so. Oh, 50. You fuck. Shut up, you fuck. I went through all that trouble just for 50 silver. Kiss my ample ass. What are you guys doing here? Just hanging about, huh? Okay. That's your problem, pal. Well, this is the last mission that you go through where... <clears throat> as you go through it, you don't. the city isn't actually on fire, so... Remember what I said. Act 2 ends with a big war, and Act 3 ends with an even bigger war. And then, of course... That's the end of the game. Now, I was still kind of... Oh, oh yeah, I'm still trying to figure out when Dragon Age Inquisition... Dragon Age Inquisition still does not have a release date. Can you imagine that shit? So now I'm thinking about it. If I review those two games in May, those two games in October, that's four more games. I'm going to need to review at least one more. Just to have a substantial amount of games. Because so far this year, I've reviewed... Let's see, I reviewed the... Donkey Kong game. I reviewed. Well, that's it, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty much it. I just reviewed the Donkey Kong game. <laughs> hey, it's the one that rescued me from them dragons. A fellow Brelden, no less. A thousand thanks for saving Jansen's worthless hide. Worthless, am I? My farm supplied eggplant half of the South Reach. Wow, really? That is all I reviewed is the Donkey Kong game. That's pretty fucking sad. <laughs> You're a real hero. Now what brings you here? Shuffle off to the mine and let me finish those pints for you. Who's that guy? Come back to that what are you hanging around there for? You're not part of my crew. I need work, but I don't need to be some dragon's dinner. What if there's more dragons later? Or something appears worse as though not everybody in Kirkwall has a sense of humor, even the Ferelden's. Apparently, that's a negative sure influence. Apart, sure as any dragon. Why can't we do? That bastard Hubert is the only one willing to hire us. Would you go back for twice your previous salary? Wow. Well, I. And trust this teach, chance and take Always comes it. down to the amount of coins you can throw in someone's night. face. And not with his dark town swill either. Back to work, boys. I'm happy to take more of Hubert's coin. Well, that's my dilemma. You know, you cannot wish That's the dilemma that I've given all of you. That's the dilemma that I face. Nope. Nothing there. Is this the dilemma that I face is that I'm going to have to get through a role-playing game in like two days. <laughs> Maybe five, because I have to actually put together a video and a review. Alright. I usually bring Varric with me on this one, cause, just so Varric can say that he doesn't hate the guy. But that, there's real no point, really no point to it, actually. Oh wait, so I brought Fenris with me in this one. Oh wait, I brought Fenris and Aveline, didn't I? I gotta bring one or the other. I'm gonna have two rogues. And I need one mage. Hey, guess what? I didn't watch Frozen tonight. Isn't that amazing? Is that not the most amazing thing you've ever heard? I did not watch Frozen tonight. I watched it the last two nights in a row. But not tonight. I, uh, I, I almost get to... Now, I just want to let you all know that I don't... I don't cry at funerals. I don't cry at weddings. I don't cry when real people are involved. I've te I teared up with the con the King Kong movie that uh, Peter Jackson made just because it was it, it was a giant animal. I, I can't well, take well, animals in pain. Isn't the man of the hour. Do I know you? Not yet. But and whenever I watch Les Mis, I I get had. like blubbery. But other than that, I don't Mark really cry at partner. all. And it's not so much that I'm cold-hearted yes, because I'm a very romantic person and I'm very sensitive and whatever to people's needs and stuff. Overly and sensitive to people's to needs. But when it comes to, like, sorrow and everything, I, I don't see it as most people it do. Is. 
However, when I put on, like I said, Les Mis, King Kong, when I used to watch King Kong, I used to tear up when he got when he got shot down and everything. And um, Les Mis, I always I just can't take the whole movie without tearing up. But when I watch Frozen, that opening part, the uh, do you want to build a snowman? Really, like, kind of almost makes a tear come to my eye. <laughs> I just find it to be so touching. Now his pride won't let him but, take um, my coin, even if it ruins him. He won't be happy if I do this. Then why tell him? Oh yeah, I forgot. I got to bring Varric with me on this one. Lie. Okay. This well, let me happy, go. Happy, I have to go back to Gamlin's house. Just what kind of terms are we talking about here? I give you what Bartran needs. Bartran thinks it's your coin. I, uh, I I I get like a little tear in my eye when that happens, and then when I, I when the him, end happens, I get a little tear in my eye. Just a tear. It doesn't really actually roll down my cheek. Not like Les Mis where they roll down my cheek. I just can't take Don't the end. You. The end of Les Mis is way too much. Suspicious. Like because you deal with so much, you deal with so many <laughs> kicks to the nuts that like by the end of it, you you can't tolerate it anymore. That's really what happens. With the Monsignor, the with uh, the, to me? Why not? the uh, solilo soliloquy, with deal. Fontaine. Ever deeper. Is that it? Marvelous. You tell Bartrand that the coin's on the way. By the end, you just got nothing left. Discreetly. Good luck on your expedition, my friend. We shall meet again. Yep, Aveline never likes anything remotely corrupt. What are we? What are we doing, Aveline? Are you like my friend, friend yet? Oh, Bethany, we're okay. You're still not my friend, friend yet? Come on. Oh, well, I ain't got to deal with him. Now let's go back to Gamlin's house. Let's put Varric in my party, and then we'll go do our thing. And this will be the Deep Roads Expedition, which is kind of long, but it's not as long as I made it out to be. It's not going to be a couple hours. It's going to just be like about an hour and a half, maybe. Quick missions. That's what this game is all about. Quick missions. Like Mass Effect 2, which I'm going to do a video of once I get my... Once I finish it. <laughs> once I finish the... Um... Nope. Now, as you can see here, these are the poisons. That's not what I'm looking for. Order potions. See order potions? Oh, oh, look at that shit. See? But I'm not going to order anything right now because I have enough and I have to bring that gold to Bartrand. Let's go with Barrick. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter. I don't fucking put anybody in this one because I have to remake the party anyway. So I'll just put the people that I'm not going to use. Uh, Anders. Yeah, all rogues. There we go. Because again, it's, it, it doesn't matter. It just does not matter because I have to remake the party anyway. So I'll just go with a bunch of rogues. Now, I've noticed that nobody's using yodels.com, and I really am getting pissed. You need to start going to yodels.com and using that website, or I'm going to have to destroy you. Well, everybody needs to get leveled up. Well, we're good, which is good. Okay. Uh, that's it. Huh? Okay. Alright. We're not good yet, right? Oh, yeah, we are. Nice. We're not good yet, my dear. And that needs to change. Make sure that there's nothing here I haven't gotten yet that's important. Yep. Okay. We're on our way. Pack up your bags. What if we say we won't come back? 
How can we live? We haven't got a dime. Okay. Barrett, where did you get off to? And what are you planning? Bartran. So suspicious. I have in fact brought us our future. I am doctor. not going to kill Bartran. I am what? going to allow Parker. him to live. You stupid nug humping dirt farmer. Why did you go promising something like that? Because if we now, of course, the mage selection is going to get a little easier as the game progresses, and I don't have as many mages because my sister is going to be taken by the circle. Maybe you have a point. There's so much love here. However, the unfortunate matter will be that the rogue situation is only going to get worse because the rogue situation is going to have three rogues on top of the one that I'm already using Isabella, Varric, and Sebastian so we're going to have two warriors three rogues and two mages think about that none of that comes bloody cheap I do have your coin in fact you're joking. What did I tell you, Bartrand? Not bad for a human. All right, partner. Full share of the profit between you, me, and Varric. How many characters do you have no, overall? Let's see. Three mages. The deep roads. These might be just what we need. What's this? Let me three? See. Three mages. Four entrances into the deep three roads. The free marches. Two Where'd warriors. A wizard did it. Well, Eight, nine, scout. ten, including we talents. We just picked the most promising one and ten, go. Uh, that's not bad. The first one had. Uh, let me think. The first city, one friend. had. We'll be gone for several weeks at least. Let two mages. We'll head out. So are you ready? It's a long I'm ready, Bartram. Let's if do this shit. Business you need to wrap up here. You'd better do it now. I'm ready. Let's get started. Let's not two waste mages, any more time. two rogues, We've chosen one of the hidden entrances. three soldiers, including your nice dog. Ready for a good deflowering. <laughs> now there's an interesting image. Well, It'll anyway. take a week for us to get to the depth we need. There are bound to be leftover dark spawn from the blight. Big risks, big rewards. Risks, rewards, what could be better? Exactly. Let me, wait, I, I'm gonna bring oh, Meryl with me, right? Wait, who invited the old woman? I'm sorry to interrupt, Sir Dwarf, but I need to speak with my children. Mother. Now, like I, I said, if I was if I it. was a mage and I had Carver, I then I would totally thing. take Carver with me so that I could send Carver to the Grey me? Wardens. I but yet. I don't really particularly Mother, appreciate my sister I being sent to the Grey Wardens. It's not At least fun. in the circle of the Magi, I'll, I'll know that no man's going to touch her ass. Something will happen to you. You, I understand. We're not supposed to, anyway. But leave your sister here, I beg you. It's the Templars or the Darkspawn, Mother. So At rather she who is so well behaved to be with well, amongst be the circle of the Magi. You'll need to decide. Besides, I mean, I know that there are mages in the Grey Wardens, but it seems more like a warrior thing. Alright, I said I was going to bring her, and I said I was going to bring her. So let's do that. Oh, thank the Lord. Okay. Are you sure so now everyone's sister? happy. Just keep her out of the clutches of the... I hope you're not just trying to protect me. Trust me, this is no picnic. Out of the uh, stay, circle, will you, mother? Fair enough. I hope you're right. Personal drama over with. Now let's get underway. Been a long time coming. Good thing we're taking Bodan and Sandal with us. The deep roads away. Why do they always end up like in these weird situations? Hanging with the Grey Warden, hanging with the hero of Kirkwall, champion of Kirkwall, whatever. There is a group of enemies in this particular little area that is called the... What the fuck are they called again? Well, anyway, they're called something, and they suck. You'll see. Now, the reason why I brought, I brought Meryl as well is because she no, can do something with that demon. 
pretty interesting. The champion and his apostate sister came to Kirkwall to spread subversion against the Chantry. But you claim this wasn't the case. The champion just happened to have dealings with the Canari, joined forces with a known raider, a blood mage, a rebel warden, and for now this year, folks, you're going to see some. I'll actually have some movie reviews Maybe because I'm going to go see um, Spider-Man Two, of course. Simple. I'll see how bad they ruin it, and I'm going to go see God, the new Godzilla did. movie, Do even though I'm kind of afraid of it. And by kind of afraid, I mean I am scared me shitless of this movie. How bad it could be. Right word, exactly. now, they made it a little bit more she serious, but known. I don't trust anything Sometimes Hollywood makes. Knew what was down there. That's why he wanted to join you. And there might be another movie I was actually going to no. go see. Maybe the second Avengers, maybe. If we had, see if they do anything with Thanos. Thanos, whatever you want to call him. Is that so? Then tell me your version of what happened on this expedition. I refuse to see another X-Men movie, by the way. We entered the refuse. Deep plan, Especially one where they're trying to combine the past with far. the future or whatever the fuck it is. Wow, you can see into the present. Ah, the Deep Roads. There, the Deep Roads. There's a lot of funky good shit that I can pick up here in this mission. There's been a collapse. The way forward is blocked. What? Is there some You cast this cocksucker? Not that I've been able to find. The side passages are too dangerous. <laughs> Useless! What am I paying you blighters for? Shit camp! Okay, we got a couple of little missions here. Problems, brother. Starting deep roads. Who knows how long it'll take to clear the path. Shall we not try to find a way around instead? One is trying to find a way around, and the other one is trying to find Sandal. I didn't bring Fenris because it's not going to. See, this is why you bring someone. Not gonna make any goddamn difference. We'll take a look. If we come running back, screaming, you'll know staying put was the right decision. Fine. But I did bring Meryl because it will make a difference, and you'll see what I mean. Even though Meryl doesn't mind dealing with demons, you'll see what I mean. Boom! This is where I put my uh, video up of Sandal the Dwarven Mage. Question mark. There are so many different things that are going to have to be answered in Dragon Age Inquisition. One man out there alone. I'm wondering if they're going to be able to answer those in Dragon Age Inquisition. I'm also wondering if Meryl's going to show up in Dragon Age Inquisition. Might be interesting. I was watching somebody playing through the PC version of the uh, Elder Scrolls Online game. It looks like it plays as, as this similar, or if not identical, to the Elder Scrolls games, like Skyrim. We'll bring him back in one piece. Or maybe two. Hard to say, really. Poor Sandal. I can't I'm really hoping that this. people are not That's trying to rip these thing. videos to uh, do a review or something. There you go, Aveline. I got her friendship back. Anything here? Anything here? Anything here? Anything here? No, 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 no. Got to make sure. Like, most people don't talk during the cutscenes. Not me. I talk during all of it. You really want to check thoroughly because you never know what might be lurking in all the corners of the deep roads. Deep roads have unthinkable valuables lying around. Oh, Meryl, I forgot to level, level you up. Sorry, sweetheart. Do you get me, sweetheart? Okay. Nature damage. Now remember, not all specializations are created equal. Oh, look at that, Dark Spawn. Dark Spawn. Dark Heart. Oh, you didn't see that coming. Now you'll notice that I sold pretty much everything that I didn't need. I gotta I have to give my members. My crew members' belts and shit and rings. 
Chink. Okay, Flika. Oh, wait. Okay. Actually, before I do anything else, let's do that. Let's go to Varric and let's see what we have. I'll save that for somebody that actually can use it. Okay. All right, she needs to get upgraded big time. Uh, okay. She's going to wear the talisman of the boss, Sarah Boss. She's going to wear the Dalish belt. And the rings are all the same, so we're good. Now, let me see if there's something here that I don't have. Nope. Okay, now we're going to save. All right. Now, let's see if we can loot anything, because looting is fun, and it's good for you. You don't want to go through these halls without looting, especially grunts. Oop, deep mushroom. And since I have the line of Orlay shield, I'm getting an extra bonus on experience points. Nice torture rack. Right, I, I said that I was going to, at the next level, start building up the... Now this one, there's a boss fight that is going to give you a shitload of experience points. So you don't really have to worry about... By the way, you notice all that lightning? That's Meryl. That's what happens when you build up her specialization. She becomes a lightning throwing freak. That should do it. Ooh. Oathbreaker. That is a good weapon to give to Fenris for now. Of course, when he upgrades, it's not going to be as good. But now, it would be good. But since I don't have Fenris, uh, it doesn't matter. And Aberlin has got her sword. So she's set. I can't go down that way. Dark spawn. Now she's doing a number in the distance, isn't she? Stone fist, she's going ape shit. Up. Oh. <laughs> That's rock armor, by the way. As you can see, rock armor keeps them in place, and they can't attack, but it also diminishes your offensive damage output. Why can't I go through that door? There is going to be a very large spider that appears in this little area. Oh, look at that. Spiders. Spider. Looks like uh, Meryl was doing some blood magic. I mean, she is a blood mage after all. And there's the monstrous spider. And that monstrous spider is kicking my ass. And the sad part about it is that monstrous spider doesn't really give you any experience points. Wow. Uh, Varric is done, huh? Oh shit, I'm done too. Okay, well the monster spider is done. Wow. <laughs> I'm a little bit of a pickle, aren't I? Well, good thing that's all we have. But I'm going to lose 
three injury kits, and I don't have three injury kits to lose. I didn't even notice how many experience points did I get there. Probably like 300, right? Like a monstrous spider doesn't warrant any kind of experience point explosion. There's another good one right there. Ooh, I got an injury kit back. <coughs> Pardon me. That's what happens when you live in a dusty area. Nowhere near as bad as the one I grew up in, though, I'll tell you that much. I, lived, I used to live right by a factory, and God almighty, the dust that would accrue was unthinkable. More Darkspun! Like, like sa I said, the weaker enemies get knocked back by the, that move, by that... Uh, By that backstab. Okay, I'm getting close. Now, I would like to go up a level before I fight the boss, because the bo which I, I'm pretty sure I will be, because the boss is going to get me up another level. And the boss, there's a, uh, a trick to defeating it that took me forever to figure. Well, it didn't take me forever, but it actually, it took me a few chan a few turns of having to put it on casual difficulty before I figured it out. Figuring it out meant I watched somebody else do it and said, oh. And there you go, Sandal. Fought his way through a bunch of darkspawn using just en enchantments, meaning that he's a mage. Hello. Unbelievable. I'd really like to know how you managed to Almost looks like a <laughs> Almost looks like a replay of the one that I recorded before. No, this is not the same playthrough. This is a different playthrough. And how did you do that? Not enchantment. Not enchantment. Smart See? Ogre. Mage. He froze the ogre dead. Come on. We still need to find a way past that collapse. Oh, look at that. Codex. Don't worry, these golems might not be moving now, but they will be. Just not now. <laughs> How about that for a teaser? Yeah, you're all frozen now, aren't you? You're all stupid and stupid. Taunt, Aveline, taunt. This makes it a lot easier for me to attack these creatures. Because they won't be facing me. Oop. Trying to go with my... Oh, there he is. Emissary could really cause problems. One more for me. We're keeping score, right? Oh, more. I didn't even see you guys. And the reason why I had to get I had to use a another health potion because my 
tank is not tanking. Okay, after all the enemies I just dis destroyed, all I got was a few silver out of it. Come on, really? It seemed like there was some kind of pause, so I'm guessing that there's another bit to that little group. Well, that's not it. This is a separate group. You got it. This is a group that takes with them an ogre. Oh, you like that, huh? To be they don't have faint death in this one, that would be really nice. Just collapsing and turning it off. Maybe they do it, I just don't realize. Two hundred and fifty six, the gro going experience rate against Darkspawn in this game. Uh, I was over here harvesting raw lyrium. Can't go through that door, huh? Let's see if I can equip that. And I can, and I will. So let's go with the weaker one right now. Yeah. Thought there was an ogre over there. No, no ogres. Who? There it is. Yeah. Yeah, this ogre rams his head into the wall. Look at that. Like yeah! Bam! Trapped. How about that Stop. shit? Oop. That should do it. All right. Now we're talking. Okay, I said I was going to start building up the shadow thing, right? Because right, I got this. This is done. So let's go over here. Let's build up the shadow thing. Pinpoint precision or inconspicuous? Let's go pinpoint precision. For now. Alright. Save this. Any other traps I have to take out? Nope. And away we go. Now, when I defeat that enemy, I will be at level 13. Not bad for one act. This one, this game, more so than the first one, you, you kind of go up levels a little okay. easier, this one. Or so it would seem. Okay, Meryl, you're next. That leaves Varric for last, as usual. Now we have to fight a dragon. Oh, just like I said. Sling. <laughs> See that rock armor? And it works on everybody, but not for long. Now this isn't just a dragon. This is also a dragon and dragonlings. See? Here they come. Oh! Yet. Do I have restoration poison? Uh, potion? No, I don't. Right. 
Take it, Evelyn. Oh shit, Barrel's dead. There we go. Blink. Wait, who turned off my laceration? And the dragon's down. I I used to have a hard time with the, with that dragon as well. All right, Varric, you made it. I'm very proud of you. Good thing I got all those injury kits because you needed one. Okay, Varric, you're next. Save here, and we can now loot this dragon. So we got. Fuck! I would have had the whole set. Son of a bitch. Well, now I can sell the whole set. Don't worry, there are better armors waiting for me. Better armor sets. I'll pawn that and call it a day. Now into the next area. This is where Damn we get you. betrayed. This goes right where we want it to. Let's go back and tell Bartrand. He'll be so pleased. Bartrand, we found a way around your damned cave in. It's about time. Let's move out! Pretty interesting, right? You get a Deep Roads Expedition. And from there, you build a fortune and everything. This is most likely the longest part of this whole game. With exception of the end, of course. Holy shit. Is this what you were expecting? I thought. An abandoned tie, something old. What sort of tag is this? How did you even know it was here? Old scavenger tales. After the third blight. A week below the surface, they said. But nobody believed them. Looks like they were right. Make camp here. We need to look around. We kind of go about our own business. Anything here I can loot? No. Why is that? We're well below the deep roads. Whatever dwarves lived here, they came long before the first blight. But where are the statues of Paragons? I don't recognize these markings on the wall or anything in the rubble. Whatever's here must be very rare and valuable. I'm still I'm, I'm surprised that Aveline and I aren't possibly these dwarves aren't good friends unique. yet. If so, I hope they kept their valuables close at hand. All uh, right, nothing here. Bowden. Okay, so let's see. You got anything good for me? Health potion I need. That I need. Yep. Let's do some selling. That I want to keep. That I want to keep. I want to get rid of that. Yeah, but that's a 2% experience gain. I want to keep that. Yeah, actually, I want to do that. I'll get rid of this one. Yeah, I don't need that. Get rid of these crappy amulets and stuff. Get rid of all this lyrium and stamina shit. Do it. Okay. Let's go to the enchantment apparatus, if there is one. Is there an enchantment? 
say thank you to the nice man for saving your I'm life. I'm sure he'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected and with the old discount. Thank you. No, you don't have an enchantment apparatus? Any hoot. Further into the deep roads we go. Through there, it seems still intact. Think we'll find anything? Bartrand is far more enthralled with this place than you are. If I can get through this, with like 20 minutes or so left in the second video, then I'll show you my flirting that I will do with Isabella because I want that ass. James, grab that ass. We're going to hold this cock. I suppose we'll so, need to go down there to find out. I watched the uh, the gamer poop from Skyrim with my wife. She's a good woman. Sure is. I'll bounce for that. Come on, attack. Hit this fucking aim button. It's like when I'm trying to run into Mass Effect 3 multiplayer and I fucking just don't do it. Oh look, a golem coming back to life. Please stop hitting the fucking... Killer. I'm glad I upgraded that thing so that fucking... That, yeah, that, that's a little bit of a bitch. Watch yourself. Having a member of the guard carries little weight here. Ooh. I don't even know what that is. Or is Shalim Shalcom? <sighs> All right. Where is she? I wanted to upgrade that. Uh, let's see, damage spells. Ba, 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 ba. There we go. Uh, and we're gonna go down these steps. I'm trying to time this perfectly. But it doesn't look like it's gonna happen because I'm gonna have to pause this soon. Or maybe I will. Look at that. Perfect timing. You see what I'm seeing? Just like I planned it. Lyrium. Doesn't look like any kind of lyrium I've ever seen. Look at this, Bartrand. An idol made out of pure lyrium, I think. Could be worth a fortune. I'm still not sure what this thing is. I know what its significance becomes, but I'm still not sure what it's supposed around. to. See if there's anything. What it is. In. You do that. The door. Bartred, it's shut behind you. You always did notice everything, Varric. Are you joking? You're going to screw over your own brother for a lousy idol? Not just the idol. The Apparently, dwarves are not affected by fortune. magic, but Lyrium gets them crazy. Three ways. <laughs> Sorry, brother. Bartrand! Okay, so that's the situation we're stuck in now. Let's pause this and we'll get, I'll be, let's get, let's pause this and I'll be right back. That's what I'm trying to say.